Sawadikap. I'm JP Mastanza. It's Thursday, February 16th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. A French national who struck a pedestrian with a rented motorbike and fled the scene last week. He's now facing charges following his arrest. 45-year-old Mali Wan, a female Thai national, was rushed to Patong Hospital after she was struck by a motorbike while crossing a street near Sainamien Road in Patong last Friday, shortly before 8 p.m. She was later transferred to Vashira Phuket Hospital in Phuket Town. Through CCTV footage, police tracked the motorbike, ridden by a foreign man wearing a white t-shirt and a black helmet, to the Triple L Hotel in 50P Road. Police tracked down the man, Naji Buaks, on Wednesday, and he was charged with reckless driving causing physical injury and failing to stop after being involved in an accident, according to Patong police. Police made no mention of whether the man had the correct license to ride a motorbike in Thailand, despite Patong police and Phuket transport officials claiming to crack down on the issue following a mass motorbike rally through the streets of Patong last week. Patong police and the chief of the Phuket Land Transport Office, Acha Bwachan, have claimed to have taken action against rental shops for renting out vehicles to tourists without the correct license to drive a vehicle in Thailand. So far, the land transport chief has avoided plainly confirming whether the compulsory accident insurance required for a vehicle to be legally on a public road remains in effect if the driver does not have the correct driver's license. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Authorities here on the island have confirmed a working group has been established to actively monitor air quality and the threat of smog and fine particular dust matter known as PM2.5 across the island. A meeting on Wednesday at the Phuket Provincial Disaster Prevention Office revealed that last month saw an increase in the number of fires on the island, particularly in agricultural and forest areas, which has created a series of, quote, hot spots. It was also revealed that the levels of particulate matter 2.5 had exceeded standard levels for several days in a row, which posed a potential health hazard to people on the island. The group will be monitoring the situation focusing on urban areas, factories, and industrial sites with high pollution, as well as engine maintenance on vehicles. Furthermore, it was disclosed that hotspots in forest areas on the island had decreased by 20% over the past five years, which included a 10% decrease in general forest and agricultural burning and a specific 5% reduction in the burning of sugarcane. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. A 57-year-old Thai woman wanted for a fatal hit-and-run accident in the United States on January 1st has been arrested in Rachaburi and will be extradited for trial, according to police. Dup Tim Housen, a U.S. citizen living in a suburb of Detroit, Michigan, had returned to her native Thailand on January 5th and was staying in Chomburi, according to police. The accident took place on January 1st in Oakland, Michigan and made headlines in the U.S. after she fled the scene and flew to Thailand right away because she was in, quote, shock. Police in Thailand found her in Rachaburi province and arrested her. She reportedly admitted to police that she had hit and killed 22-year-old Michigan State University student Benjamin Cable. Police General Surachat Hakpan said Ms. Tupton regretted the incident and was ready to be deported back to the U.S. to face justice. For more, visit the link in the description. People in Phuket are invited to join a festival at the Saracen Bridge running for three nights starting this Friday to mark the impact of the bridge fostering close relationship between the people of Phuket and Pengya province. A press launch for the event took place near the Saracen Bridge led by the president of the Phuket Provincial Administration Organization, Rewat Arirob, along with the Pengya PAO president. More than 30,000 people are expected to join the event, which will feature fireworks shows, live music concerts, balloons, and heart-shaped tunnels this weekend. Stalls selling local foods and other items will also line the bridge for the event. The event, which is in its 13th year, was launched by the PPAO to foster good relations between the people of Phuket and neighboring Panya province, highlighting the importance of the Saracen Bridge in literally providing a bridge between the two people. The Saracen Bridge was closed to traffic and converted to a pedestrian bridge and has since been transformed into a tourist attraction. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. 
Thanks for joining us on this Thursday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pbcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as seventy-five thousand U.S. dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to twenty million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.